Good morning friends, my name's Jackie and welcome back to my garden. Um, so today I'm uh, harvesting ginger out of a pot um, that we had. We basically took some, um, I bought some uh, organic ginger off Facebook marketplace um, and I bought like two kilos of it. Um, so a heap of it went in the freezer, we used a heap of it. Um, you know, we made ginger powder, all sorts of stuff. Um, and then we planted some of it. So we basically, in each of these pots, they're 30 centimeter pots, uh, we put uh, five pieces like this, um, and this is going to be a harvest. So we've already harvested one of these pots, and I was amazed at how much ginger we had. Uh, hopefully there'll be as much in this one. Uh, so I'm standing at my compost because a lot of the stuff will just go straight into my compost. Um, and it just makes it easier. So let's see how we go. The last one was much harder to do that too, so this might not be quite as full as the last one was. So out of that one pot, so that's all that ginger out of this pot. I think that's a 30 centimetre pot. It's not very big. Um, and we got a humongous ginger crop out of it. So I'll clean that up and I'll show you exactly how much ginger that is. Um, okay, so I'm going to take all this inside. So this is a pretty big bowl's worth out of the small amount of ginger that we planted. I'm pretty impressed with that. So I'll go in and clean this up and I'll show you what I ended up with. So I thought while we were going with the ginger that I would also do this um, turmeric. Uh, this is in a much larger pot. Hey buddy. So we'll, um, we'll see how much comes out of this. But this should be quite interesting. Oh wow. Mm, interesting. We're gonna need the wheelbarrow. A rainbow is in there. A dumper is there. A dumper is there. Uh, so this is a wicking pot, so the soil only actually went down about halfway down, but it's still a, obviously a pretty sizable pot. A dumper! A dumper!
Just add a little bit of water. This one? Maybe. Hang on, we're just going to get a little bit dead off. Yeah, not much at all. I don't know whether that was just a, a re-sprout or what happened there. <coughs> they're all not... That's, um, carrot. Is it a carrot? No. No. That might be one that we actually re... Um, plant, maybe. I don't know. Oh, yay! Yeah, that might have been a... I don't know. It feels a bit drier over that side, so I'm not sure what happened. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I'll get this all cleaned up, and I will show you the cleaned up product. So it's actually a few days later. Uh, it's taken me a while to come back to it, plus it's been raining for a week. I wanted to tell you what we actually got out of each of the pots but then also recap on what the pots what dimensions the pots actually had so we got 1.3 kilos of turmeric um, now we use turmeric quite a lot in sort of curries and um, all sorts of things fermentation all that kind of good stuff um, so and you can just pop it in the freezer and that's fine and then the ginger was 820 grams if my memory serves me so now this was a this was actually a much smaller harvest than the other pot we had two pots identical size pots and the other one was absolutely choppers with uh, ginger and like it was actually hard to get all the ginger out of it just because um, it was just so tightly packed in there so I reckon we probably would have got over a kilo's worth of ginger out of the other pot that was exactly the same size. So the ginger came out of this pot. So it is 29 centimetres across and 26-ish centimetres deep. And then the, um, uh, the turmeric came out of um, a wicking pot, which was, uh, but the amount that the soil actually took up was 45 centimetres across and 20 centimetres deep. Um, so, and you know, for this much turmeric, um, it was really a set and forget because it was a wicking pot. You know, I watered it once every 10 days or something and um, it looked after itself. And I mean, the, gar the ginger too really, um, really got neglected. I had it around a corner um, as I said, I think the pot that this came out of uh, was probably in the shade slightly too much, which is why we've ended up with a smaller harvest out of it. Um, but yeah, both really, really uh, easy crops to grow, if you are so inclined. So, thank you very much for watching this video. If you um, have any comments, please put them down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.